I had a very interesting dream. Um, whether if it's prophetic or not, or just a regular dream, I'm not too sure about, but I believe it does have some sort of significant meaning to it. So I'm just keeping a record of it as I'm doing with most of my dreams. Sometimes I write it down or I'll just, you know, make a video of it. And just add in some sort of detail and animation so you can guys, you can see the perspective of what I have uh, envisioned. It started off, I was outside. It was a beautiful sunny day and I was just looking at the birds in the air. And there were two birds that were soaring they wasn't necessarily attacking each other. They were like, kind of like partners and just gliding through the air. And they happened to take rest near this cliff of a mountain. It was a high mountain and they have branches and kind of like how eagles make their nest in like in a, in a high altitude place in a high mountainous range. Um, I was able to see, like I had, my vision was beyond 2020. I was able to zoom in, you know, and to see their, like their habitat. And they just like, they just landed there and they just stayed there. One of them, which was the eagle, came down to where I was on my level. And I wasn't frightened, but I was just beholding this, this magnificent thing just swooping, like kind of like swooping down towards me. But it, I won't say it as if it was attacking me, but it was just wanted to get close. And when I seen that, I, I mean, in my mind, I happened to like go in, I went into the house because it's a new, different scenery. I went into a house and went to the refrigerator quickly and grabbed like some lunch meat. I'm not sure if they eat lunch meat. I don't know. I know they eat like, you know, some small animals and stuff, but I happened to grab some lunch meat and I happened to feed it to him. And it was like, it was just on my couch. Like I said, this is like a new place, whatever. And it was just eating. Like I was feeding it to him and it was just eating what I was giving him, this, the, uh, the lunch meat. It was like, it was my pet. That's what it felt like in the dream. Like it was my pet. And I was just, you know, giving, giving him something to eat. And I happened to pull my phone out and I started recording. Now, in some of the dreams that I had recently, uh, I tried to put my phone on and like record something or take a picture, it did not go well. But with this probably being the first time I had a good film of it and I just turned my phone on and started recording. And I'm like, you know, I wanted to show the people like why well, I'm actually feeding this eagle. You know, it was a huge eagle. It, like a normal sized eagle. Um, can't really give the exact in, in, in a measurement, but it was it was pretty big. I, I would say maybe maybe three feet in height, like around there, three feet in height. It was just standing like standing upward on the couch. <laughs> and now this the scene necessarily didn't change, but now my focus was on this on the mountain where they currently were before. That same bird um, that was there, it, it stayed there. And I realized like this bird wasn't a normal bird. This was actually a phoenix. Many have categorized this ancient bird, this mythological bird, the phoenix, something is part of being folklore. But this mystical creature, this flying bird that maybe existed a couple thousand years ago, or maybe it just come out of a you know a person's imaginations. I I don't know. Maybe it did exist. I can't really say if it did or not but in my dream this was i must say this is the first time i ever seen something like that and the and this bird didn't look like what other people depict it to be even online or movies like you see in chronicles of nardia they showed the phoenix this bird was humongous it was enormous in size it <sighs> I can't even, if, if I was close to it, I couldn't even carry it. That's how big it was. It was maybe three times bigger than me. The head was was huge. Like, I don't know. I will probably say maybe, the head was maybe like six or seven feet. Just the size of the head. Um, and it was pure gold. 
This bird was pure gold. I tried in the morning, I tried to go online, Google image, um, look up, you know, as some sort of animation to create this image. It, it did not work. I could not find a gold bird. I had found like pendulums, um, maybe like stickers, uh, images concer concerning this, uh, this, this thing that I've seen in my dream, this bird, but I, I couldn't. The closest thing that I got to this bird was, if you look at this image of this eagle right here, it was looking just, it didn't look like it, but just how his face was, it was just like that. There was no mountainous background image. He, it was just, he was high in the, in the mountains. Behind him was just, was the, uh, was the sky. But just imagine, you know what I'm saying, this, this phoenix bird, pure gold. This was the most brilliant thing to have, that I have ever seen. And though I have seen many magnificent things, this creature was brilliant. This creature was so brilliant. It was so beautiful. It wasn't bothered by anybody, and this bird wasn't bothering no one just to himself it was calm it was at ease and it was just looking around that's it not like it's worried it's just living and that was the end of the dream and I woke up praying like God what is the meaning of this dream it was beautiful to see something like that I wasn't watching any wildlife discovery channels. I wasn't even thinking about birds when I was sleeping. I wasn't. I was thinking about, you know what I'm saying, going about my next day. The bird was just, I mean, the eagle was something too. Like in my lifetime, I have really never seen an eagle landing right in front of me. It's quite often, or I would say very rare, for us to see eagles, um, but an eagle just like soaring down right on me, like near me and stuff. It was it was fantastic. But just guys, just let me know what you think about this dream. Um, I'm just taking it in. I, mean, I am. I'm just taking it in. Just seeing this golden phoenix. But I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. And by the way, if you ever, if you, um, sometimes you may think that dreams isn't important. I believe dreams are very important and uh, it's the reason why we have them. What I have been doing for the past year um, is actually keeping a record of my dreams. Whether they're prophetic or something that I can at least remember, I will quickly write it down as I wake up. And sometimes if it's something like, you know, a, a prophetic dream that I know it, you know what I'm saying, the meaning or uh, anything like heaven or things like that or a message, I would just do my best to like get as much detail as I can and present it to you, on, you know, on YouTube. But uh, other than that, just keep a record of your dreams. There's not, nothing wrong writing them down on your notes. So if you have a journal, a diary, you'd be surprised that, you know, there's some things that can be revealed as you, um, as you're writing them down. Um, but yeah, that's, just wanted to share that with you. So you guys take care of yourselves.